Hey there, I'm Aaron with Arcto Campers. And in this video, we wanted to showcase our new electrical system in our 2024 Arcto Campers G12. We've begun installing Red Arc electrical management products in our trailers. And so why don't we go ahead and start immediately to my left with the display. All right, the Red Arc Red Vision display. So we might as well start on the left here with the uh, light switches. You'll see illuminated in the top left corner is our light for the interior of the trailer, which you'll see we can turn on and off. A nice new feature is actually that the lights in here are dimmable now. So we can dim the lights to whatever degree of brightness we'd like. Uh, just below the interior light switch is the light switch for the porch light on the passenger side of the trailer. Uh, we have the on off switch for the shower light uh, that's at the back of the trailer in the shower cubicle. We have the on off switch for the water pump in the trailer. We have the on off switch for our optional upgrade which is a heated insulated fresh water tank so that's the on off switch for that in the center of the display uh, we have well the time of the day we have a percentage remaining uh, or a percentage stated charge of the batteries in the trailer along with how many days remaining or time remaining at the current amp usage uh, that we have going on in the trailer and then to the right here is a little a little graphic that shows how much battery is remaining in the trailer and the one on the bottom here is how much fresh water is remaining in your fresh water tank on the trailer. In this case, it's empty. So if we scroll to the right, we can then see, um, like the, where it's saying boost or no charge right now. Um, normally, if let's say I was plugged into shore power, it would show uh, whatever the stage of charging is because it's like a four stage charger in here. It'll show you what stage of charging is being committed to the batteries. Um, that'll tell you it's zero right now because we're not charging. And if we were, let's say, plugged into shore power, uh, that would read approximately 30 amps that we're charging. And then it'll show you how it's being split between the circuits in use and um, what's coming off of the batteries. So in this case, we have 3.6 amps coming off of the batteries and being directed to uh, the circuits uh, that are, like for this case, the lights that are on right now. In the bottom left-hand corner is the... Um, input wattage for your solar panels. So we have some solar panels on the roof of this trailer and they're currently generating a little bit of power uh, here in the warehouse. And here is your voltage reading for the batteries. So in this case, 13.2 volts remaining on the batteries and the batteries are currently sitting at 17 degrees Celsius. So what we can also do on this display, which is interesting, it's sort of like a master kill switch. So if we double tap the power button here, you'll see little lock icons uh, set up beside the light switches. So what this is doing is it's locking all these circuits. So I can't turn on the lights inside the trailer. So this is great for uh, storage of the trailer. In fact, it's called storage mode, but storage of the trailer, uh, and even while transporting, you can turn it into storage mode. Um, and then just to get it back, double tap, and all the circuits turn back on. You'll hear the beep in the background there was the roof fan um, reactivating itself. So um, of course, this thing has so much more functionality. You can see your usage graphs. Uh, and of course, like you can change the display on how it looks. You can even go back here and change the display settings, uh, system settings, your charger settings, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and all the while, this also has an app. So you can have a app on your phone, Android or iPhone, where you can control and view all the same stuff, but turn on all your light switches uh, right from your cell phone. So that's something that's a pretty nice feature. So there is the Red Arc Red Vision display in our Arcto Campers G12. Uh, let's move on to some other componentry. So coming on inside the trailer now, underneath the left side of the bench is where we house all of our electrical components. So down underneath the bench, you'll see a, a pretty well put together electrical system. We have on the left side here up front is our Red Arc Rogue distribution module. At the back is the Manager 30, which is responsible for all the charging of the batteries in your trailer. So the shore power charging, solar charging, and DC-DC charging while towing, uh, which we'll get into in a little bit here. On the far right side, uh, that is the circuit breaker box for the 110 volt system. So for the shore power coming in and leading power to the 110 volt receptacles. In the bottom right are your various fuses. And this is actually a 50 amp circuit breaker to cut all power to the batteries in the trailer. Down here in the middle is the remote or on off switch for your inverter. And that is if you opt for that optional upgrade, the 2000 watt inverter. 
and down below here is where all the batteries are housed. As I said earlier, down below here is where we house our batteries for the trailer. As standard comes two 12 volt, 100 amp hour solid lead acid batteries. But of course we offer an optional upgrade to lithium iron phosphate batteries, in which case this cabinet can house up to four of those. If you have any questions about lithium batteries or any of the reasons why you should upgrade to them, feel free to give us a shout and I'll be happy to have a conversation with you about that. With respect to charging those batteries, uh, as I said earlier, all the charging is done via the Manager 30 uh, sitting at the back of the box here. So within that box is the uh, charger for your shore power. So when you plug in with a 15 amp or a standard extension cable from home, that will charge your system at 30 amps. We also have housed inside there an MPPT solar charge controller, which manages the inflow of power from your solar panels. Again, that is an optional upgrade for us, the solar panels. Uh, in which case you can get up to 600 watts. So we offer in 200, 400, and 600 watt uh, rooftop solar arrays. Uh, we also provide, as standard, a port on the side of the trailer uh, that is connected to the MPPT solar charge controller. So you can also plug in portable solar panels, uh, which can do up to 600 watts if you don't have the 600 up there. And the reason I say that is because Red Arc, and another optional upgrade for us, is the BCDC charger from Red Arc. That allows you to utilize the 600 watts of solar, let's say, up on the roof, but as well as uh, an additional 600 watts of solar plugged into the port on the side, so you can get up to 1,200 watts of solar into your system. In that charger, or the Manager 30 as well, is the DC-DC charging uh, system. So as standard on our trailers now moving forward, there is an Anderson plug uh, port on the front tread plate by the tongue of the trailer. So if your tow vehicle is uh, modified to have an Anderson plug on the vehicle, we provide a five foot long pigtail for you to plug in and that allow you to charge up to 30 amps while you're towing. So if you think about it, if you do the 30 amps while towing, as well as let's say, I don't know, the average is a 400 watts on the roof, 400 watts will do about 14, 15 amps while uh, getting full sun. So while you're towing, you'll get the 30 amps uh, from the DC DC charger, as well as the additional, uh, let's say for round number sake, 15 amps from the solar, uh, combining up to 45 amps while you're driving to or from camp. So that's a pretty interesting system and setup. So there you have it. That is the uh, kind of general overview of our electrical system and the Red Arc management system on our trailer. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. I'm happy to have a conversation with you about that. Uh, admin at arctocampers.com or through social media at arctocampers. Have yourself a great day.